students. So that was a problem with our video. You know, sorry for that. So I'm just again interacting this concept again. So my dear students, so that you can observe here. So but actually the thing was present. Dear students, I'm just integrating it so that I'm integrating from zero to t, and here I'm integrating from zero to x. Dear students, in place of v, you know that there is a first equation of motion. That is what v can be written as u plus a t. So I'm replacing v uh, u plus a t in place of v here, so that u plus a t into d t, which is equal to here the thing is zero to x into d x. Keep as it is, no problem. Now let us multiply this integration of d t simultaneously. Integration of zero to t. Into u, the money is into d t plus now integration of a t into d t integration of zero to t a t and the money is d t equals and the money is integration of zero to x into d x zero to x into d x right, my dear students. So this is what we return. And you should remember that the formulas which will come under the mathematics, especially that uh, the integration of x over here into d x and also integration of uh, the constant. So my dear students, now you can observe here. Here u is a constant. Take u as outside, and now the remaining is integration from zero to t into d t plus. Here a is constant. Take it outside. Integration of zero to t. Into t into dt. This is equal to remaining is integration of zero to x into dx. Right? Now, you how to write the integration of dt? Hope you know. Already I just showed you the integration of constant into anything. So that integration of a constant gives you the same value. That is what integration of dx is x. Integration of dt is t. Integration of du is u. Similarly, here the integration of dt is that so it leaves you t. It is varying from zero to t plus a. Keep as it is. How to do this? Integration of t into dt. So to the power of t there is one, right? So it means here let us come to this point. We know the formula integration of x power n into dx can be written as x to the power of n plus one divided by n plus one. So that I want to calculate this value. That is what integration of zero to t, t into t t. So in place of x we have t, and in place of n we have one. So that let us replace the value of x equal to t and value of n equal to one in the above equation. So this is a mathematical formula with that I am doing this. So t to the power of n is one here, one plus one divided by one plus one. So one plus one is two. So that finally I got t square by two. So let us substitute it here. T square divided by two. Don't forget to apply the limits. That is from zero to t, which is equal to integration of dx. It is so integration of constant to dx gives you dx itself. So it's varying from zero to x. Now, my dear students, now we should apply the limits. So upper limit and lower limit. So u into so first apply the upper limit. Upper limit t minus lower limit zero plus a by two. I am going to take two outside. So here it is t square. So in place of t square apply the upper limit. So it becomes t square minus lower limit is zero square. Zero square is zero itself. Now the last thing is apply the upper limit. In place of x, that is x, and apply the lower limit, which is equal to zero. Now, dear students, u into t becomes u t plus one by two a a into t square a t square, which is equal to x minus zero is x itself. Finally, we got the second equation of motion, that is x is equal to u t plus of a t square. Dear students, as I already said you that. We can just deduce this expression just by using, just by using the calculus method, or just by uh, representing that zero uh, to t, zero to x, and all.
Suppose if I want to just replace that V not in place of U, and also if I want to replace uh, which one now uh, X not in place of zero, I will get a different equation. Okay, so no problem. So you are going to integrate math in the head today. So now I will tell you so that in place of time T is equal to zero, initial velocity is taken as V not, and the distance at that position is taken as X not in the head today. So these are all the initial points. What are the final points? Are the final points is time is t, final velocity is v, and final displacement is x. So you can replace one thing, right? Initial time is zero, initial velocity is v naught, initial uh, distance position is x naught. But in any way, if you take zero and transfer one thing, initial velocity will be u or the represent one thing, and if x naught is zero. Now we consider this one as initial and this one as final values, and we get rid of this expression. Even you can consider these two are dependent. No problem. So you have to reduce my data. Here is zero to the power of theta. X naught to the substitute my theta. U to the power of V naught to the substitute my theta. Nothing is going to change, my dear students. U to the power of theta. V naught to the plus half. It is square is equal to x to the power of the square root. Why? Because zero x is there, x not x is there. And then zero plus the number is there. Here you should write x not, and here you should write x. Upper limit is x, and lower limit is x not. So I got the formula in our paper. X minus x not are there. Okay. This is the formula you will get. Suppose if you consider that the value of initial position as x not and the initial velocity as v not. So similarly, there is a third equation of motion that we can even reduce by using the same by using the same calculus method. So what is the left over the third equation? We have already reduced v is equal to u plus a t, and also that s is equal to u plus of a t square. And the last thing is the last thing is v square minus u square is equal to two k s. Equation. The third one is v square plus u square is equal to two a s. So, dear students, while reducing this, I am again going to use the acceleration formula. We know that the acceleration can be written as the rate of change of velocity, that is d v by d t. Here, to just for my consideration, to reduce the expression, I am multiplying and dividing this by dx. I am just multiplying and dividing this by dx. So nothing is going to change for the expression now. Now see here, I am just replacing some of the terms here. A is equal to dv. I am just replacing dt and dx. So dx into dx by dt. Hope my dear students, you know that dx by dt is called velocity. That is rate of change of displacement is called velocity. So just I written it as velocity v. Now let us cross multiply this dx. What happens? A into dx becomes equal to v into dv. Now I got this equation. Now I am just integrating this equation on both the sides. Integrating the equation on both sides, right? So your integration of a into dx it is equal to integration of v into d. As I already said you that start, starting of journey the position is taken as zero and as well as at the end of the journey the position is taken as x. So I'm applying the limits and here it is a velocity so that at the starting and initial position the initial velocity is u and the final velocity is v. Now. Here a is a constant. Take it outside. Integration of zero to x into dx is equal to now here the same thing is there. Let us continue this. How to integrate it? So there I will integrate it and I will show it to you now. So here I am just writing this one. Integration of v into dv. So dear students, to the power of v I have one. It means in place of x we have v and in place of y we have one. So that in place of x I am writing v, and in place of y I am writing one. So that v to the power of one plus one 
divided by 1 plus 1, finally we get e square divided by 2. So that here it is integration of constant dx. So integration of dx is x itself. So that a into x, whereas this x varying from 0 to x, don't forget to apply the limits, which is equal to integration of v into dv can be written as v square divided by 2. So, which is varying from u to v, right? This is varying from u to v. Now, dear students, a into, see here, x minus 0, upper limit minus lower limit equals 1 by 2. I am going to take 1 by 2 outside. Remaining is v square. So, in place of v square, I want to substitute v square. That is what upper limit minus in place of v, I want to substitute u. So that it becomes v square minus u square. Here I have a into x. a x is equal to 1 by 2 into v square minus u square. Just by cross multiplication. So you can observe that 2 a x is equal to v square minus u square. Dear students, finally we got third equation of motion. So by just by using a calculus method. We deduce the three equations of motion. One is v is equal to u plus at and s is equal to u plus of at square and third one is 2as is equal to v square minus u square. Hope you all enjoyed the class. One thing is my dear students, just know whatever the things that we are discussing in the classroom, maintain the notes, maintain the points notes very clearly so that when you come to the class we are going to check it each or each and every line. And one thing, so just today I am just going to post the PDF notes for this chapter. So just copy the notes in your notebook, right? So thank you my dear students.